Hi, this is Dee with Divine Needle, and there's more. <laughs> so an addendum to the 222 two, 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 two reading. Um, a lot of things going on here. Um, you know, it's a portal to 222. Two, two. Is definitely a portal. We see it on the very first card. Um, we see it repetitively here. Portal. Um, the Sabian Mysteries picture, you know, how it felt like there was a lot trying to get through a small channel. They're back to talking about ships and canals. <laughs> but there's also another story here. Um, relating to the planets and their movement and an old story. Um, it's interesting. So we have um, the seeker, but this is um, gateways, right? Making a way through gateways, channel, water with a burden heavily weighed down this card has appeared to me before the giver before as um two sides making backroom deals see how that handshakes ha starting to happen behind the center of the pillar um of the scale shady business right um Interesting, because that card has nothing to do with that, but that's the feeling I'm getting. Um, <clears throat> shady deals coming from a dome. That building. With two different sides. Creates a blockage of some sort. Um... See, a created blockage. The Four of Scepters 1111 card. See, we're working with the 22222, two, 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 right? And, um, and the two hands showing up multiple times throughout. See, there's two here, two here, two here. We've got the two here, two here. To here, um, yeah, it's in a lot of places. Um, this always looks like a ship's wheel to me. A big ship, pretty good size. Um, and See how there's one stuck between two or part of a, a trio of ships, possibly, but one between the two, these two sides, um, sides of the canal or governments, because we have this down here, these two buildings, Rome and Greek, right? Roman and Grecian, two governments. Two sides. Um, see, this is the canal, the channel. And a break in the channel. Getting through. A break in getting through high priestess energy, right? Um... But it's interesting because here we see her, her as in the ship, we're calling it a her. Um, she might have a female name. Um, see this mermaid sitting on the ground off to the side. Someone turning their back and walking away. 
Um, but you see in this card, look back there. In the back, see all these um, gates? All these gates? Well, that's looking at the side of this gate. It's a she ship. It's a it's a it's the rose. She's trying to get through the gates. Um, see the buildings in the background. Trying to get through those gates. These are the gates from the side. I'm gonna tell both the stories I'm seeing here. So here's those gates looking at them from the side instead of looking at them through here. Um, she's run aground. Notice she's signified by the moon. Um, it's definitely a she. Here she is up here, stuck in the gate. Thoth, a.k.a. Mars, trying to help her through the gate. Female ship. The heart, right? The other thing that um, popped out to me was the pomegranate split open. That's like the hull of the ship full of goods, full of, see, full of seeds. But see that egg, it's stuck in the canal, being held back, bound by a snake. One of these snakes, or both of them. By the way, another number, you know, I said 777 and 555. We, I've also been getting, um, we got 1111 and 711. When I see 711, I think 7th heaven, right? Anyway, um, then we have this angel card. Um, see how she's coming forth. Um, the angel card. This pops out for several reasons. Um, representing heaven. But, um, half in water, half out. And um, the other thing is um, the, the two-face, the, um, Gem the Gemini, right? Janus. Um, bringing a heart to the crooked two-face things. This is her bringing herself, feeling bound, stuck between the two governments, the two sides. <sighs> Here's her bringing her heart between these two sides, giving something. She's got something in her hand, giving it. And it's her heart she's wearing her heart <sighs> the orbs stand for money handing over some money to these two sides then you have Anubis see here's the moon again weighing that offer Was it enough? And evidently, see here's that 
frond. Evidently, it was. And this is Anubis hand handing back. See the green orb here? Here's the green orb. It passes. Okay. And it's given to her. So, um, interesting because, um, you have the male female alchemy symbol, which is also, um, on the flag of Israel. Um, the other thing um, that stuck out to me is the fact that we have the Egyptian theme. So this is likely related to the Panama Canal once again. Um, or is that Suez? Suez Canal? One of those two big canals. But this is a ship being stuck in the canal. And <sighs> governments involved. Stuck in the canal. Why? I don't know. Um... Except for, um, remember how I felt like his hair was being dipped into the water? <laughs> stuck. The outlaw stuck like Chuck. And the outlaws of the shenanigans blocking <sighs> the ship. So, some more shenanigans with the shipping lanes. Um, then, um, the other thing, the other thing that I got from this is a story about the planets and what's going on right now with, uh, Venus and Mars and how, um, they've gone through many gates and, um, their burdens and having to stand on their power to manifest um, the gateway, the 1111, this gateway. Um, it feels like um, this energy is when they're getting ready to go into Aquarius. You know how. Mars goes into Aquarius before she does. Um, and it feels like she gets stuck. Because remember, right there, um, there is, he gets into Aquarius seven minutes before she does. And this is... Um, her last hurdle um this is dealing with um the greek roman overlay and um the past and having to she had to get through that final gate she has to wear her heart on her sleeve as a twin twin flame right She's feeling bound by the ancestors, and she's getting her heart weighed by Anubis here, and she's handed the crown and the bread of life, and she enters into, through that last gate, into Aquarius.
heaven. So it's like a story of those twins moving through and um, making that final portal, the gateway to do two to two. Um, this is, you know, a portal, a gate, a gate, 11, 11, the gates. I'm making it through that final gate, that one last gate. And it's all up to her. He makes it through. He makes it through. And she's stuck for one last reason. And she has to become unstuck. So for me, this is like, um, <sighs> yeah. She's going to make it through that gate into heaven. And that's a big deal. And for me, this tells a story, you know, the as above, so below. Macrocosm, microcosm, and everything in between, including ships stuck in canals. But for us individually on the microcosm, um, this is one final leap. Um, remember how I was talking about um, we're all being tested, all this crap we've been going through is like a test um test for the community there's that party that celebration that wedding party we all want to go to <sighs> i was talking about how we act is what dictates coming forward with our heart and offering to thoth, to be weighed against that feather right here. That's what sets us free. It's the new beginning, the bread of life, the sacred word, the truth, and the crowning of that queen. She gets crowned. And the angels are watching. It's really interesting. Um, the numbers that are up here. You got two aces. And the 1111 card. 11. <clears throat> Brand new awakening. Now, here's something interesting. There's that king of cups. Just waiting for her on that other side. See? You're just waiting. Check this out. Tower. One and six is seven. Eleven. Seven, eleven. Seventh heaven. The gate through the seventh heaven. See, being looked down on by the angels and all the ancestors. That feels like the crowning, the contender. <laughs> this is the wedding dance. If I can get it to focus. There we go. They made it through the gate. That's the wedding party. That's the dance of the two. The two. The two. So, a lot was in those cards. There's probably more I missed. Do make comments if you see anything. Trying to give as much as I can. Um, yeah. 
7 Eleven, 7th Heaven. That's what I always think, 7th Heaven. <sighs> and Heaven being represented. Oh, I didn't. These cards are down too low. You guys can't see that. Heaven being represented right there by that symbol. The angels. <sighs> the twins that were separated. <sighs> because of two sides. The Greek and the Roman. Remember the Roman built their stuff on the Greek pantheon. The Roman is the overlay. But you also have to remember these twins. They're the red and the blue. That's why they're red and blue. <laughs> Mars and Venus, red and blue. And those two people in the background trying to join hands. Red and blue. <sighs> That's good news for us, that portal. And I can't wait to see what Mars, or <laughs> Mars, uh, March. Hmm. Faux pas? Wardian slip? I don't know. March the 6th. When those two join hands and touch in Aquarius, that is going to be fantastic. <laughs> because that story is right here on these cards making it through that last gate. This portal coming up, 2222. Two, two, two. And March 6th comes the party because they both enter heaven. They made it through the gates, through the trials, through the hardships, right? Through all these burdens. <sighs> wow. Anyway, so there was a lot more to the reading. So prediction. Dealing with the canals and shipping and blah, 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 between the governments and their BS. Which, um, they all, they're always trying to create this illusion. But we know what we really need to be focused on is the story of those twins. And then making it through the gates. Our hearts open and on offer, and it gets weighed. Yep. Hmm. Fascinating. Okay. So that's what I have for you as the extended part of this. Um, It's funny because they repeated 7-Eleven here. One and eight is seven, and then the two ones, 11. Seven, seventh heaven. Brand new beginnings. That's a big deal. All right. I just, I had to share that with you. Let me pull these cards up so you can see them because it turns out that you didn't get to see them in their totality because they were a little too low on the picture. There you go. Grateful. See how she's grateful. He's handing her her crown. Basically. The bread of life. See Anubis' hand. Yep. So there you go. Brand new beginning. Gateway to resurrection. That is a gateway. Portal. 
shows all over the cards. <laughs> <laughs> so um, you guys should start rejoicing. The kindred. Rejoicing. Because um, what's happening in the sky is above, so below. It's a big deal. Anyway, talk to you later. I hope you enjoyed the extended addendum to the portal reading. Because uh, it looks good. Looks real good. Bye for now. <laughs>